Hello my dear friends welcome to the virtual lab of 90 plus my tuition app we all have different types of equipments to measure things so how do we find the diameter and volume of very thin objects what is the equipment we use for this yes it is a screw gauge so Let's start an activity by using a screw gauge. First, let's understand the aim of this activity. There are two aims for this activity. First one, to measure the diameter and hence to calculate the volume of a given wire. And the second one, to measure the diameter and hence to calculate the volume of a small sphere. Students, to measure the diameter, we want some apparatus. So, let's see the apparatus. Screw gauge, wire, small sphere are the apparatus to measure the diameter of the sphere and wire. Now, let's examine a screw gauge. Here, you can see a U-shaped metallic frame and a spindle or screw attached to thimble. And the ends of the metallic frame are marked as A and B respectively. Here, in between these two ends, we are placing the object to be measured. Now, see the end marked as C. This end is called the ratchet. Here, you can see two types of measuring scale on the screw gauge, right? And they are pitch scale and circular or head scale. The pitch scale is the main scale and is engraved on the barrel with vertical lines and head scale is engraved horizontally on the thimble and is divided into 50 or 100 equal parts. Pitch scale measures the distance in millimeter traveled by the spindle per revolution. Now let's move on to the theory of this experiment. First, we need to find the least count of the screw gauge. The least count of an instrument is the smallest quantity that can be accurately measured by using the instrument. In the case of a screw gauge, the least count LC is the distance moved by the tip of the screw when the screw is turned through one division of the head scale. The least count can be calculated by using the formula least count is equal to pitch divided by number of divisions on the head scale. Mainly, we use a screw gauge with 100 divisions on the head scale. Also, to find pitch of the screw, we can use the equation pitch of the screw is equal to distance moved by the screw divided by number of rotations and to find total reading of the screw gauge we can use the equation total reading is equal to psr plus corrected hsr into lc here psr is the pitch scale reading hsr is the head scale reading and lc is the least count here in this experiment, we have to find the volume of the sphere. So, we can use the equation V is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube. Here, r is the radius of the sphere. And to find the volume of the wire, we can use the equation V is equal to pi r square L. Here, r is the radius of the wire and L is the length of the wire. Now, let's move on to the procedure of this experiment. First, we have to find the least count of the screw gauge. For that, we rotate the screw gauge 10 times backward. Now, after 10 rotations, we have to note down the pitch scale reading. By observing this pitch scale, we came to know that it is 10 millimeter. So, we can write distance mode for 10 rotations as is equal to 10 millimeter. So, now we can easily find the pitch by substituting the values in the equation P 
which is equal to distance moved divided by number of rotations then we get pitch is equal to 10 divided by 10 which is equal to 1 millimeter now let's find the least count of this screw gauge for that we can use the equation pitch divided by number of divisions on the head scale then we get 1 divided by 100 which is equal to 0 0.01 millimeter so we got the least count of the screw gauge is equal to 0 0.01 millimeter the next step is to find the zero error and the zero correction of the screw gauge to get the correct measurement zero error must be taken into account for this purpose the screw of the screw gauge is rotated forward till the screw just touches the end wheel and the edge of the cap is on the zero mark of the pitch scale the screw gauge is held keeping the pitch scale vertical with its zero downwards if the zero mark on the circular scale comes on the reference line in this case zero error and zero correction both are nil and if zero mark on the head scale is below the reference line in this case the zero error is negative and zero correction is positive depending on how many divisions it is below the reference line also if the zero mark on the circular scale remains above the reference line and does not cross it in this case the zero error is positive and zero correction is negative depending on how many divisions it is above the reference line but here in this considered screw gauge the zero mark on circular scale comes on reference line so that we can write zero error is equal to zero and zero correction is equal to zero so students here we found the least count and zero correction of the screw gauge now we can place the wire in between the ends a and b and let's start our calculation according to the observation so let's move this ratchet screw and place the wire in between the ends a and b and then gently tighten the ratchet screw now the number of divisions on the pitch scale uncovered by the head scale that is PSR is noted and the head scale divisions coinciding with the reference line that is HSR is noted here PSR is equal to 0 millimeter and here we can see the reference line in the pitch scale coincides with the 48 division of the head scale so here HSR is equal to 48 division we can enter all these values in this table here in this table we have to fill the values of PSR HSR and corrected HSR now what is corrected HSR yes corrected HSR is nothing but observed HSR plus zero correction and here we already know that zero correction is equal to zero so we can say for this screw gauge observed HSR is equal to corrected HSR now let's enter our first set of values in this table that is PSR is equal to zero millimeter HSR is equal to 48 divisions and corrected HSR is equal to 48 divisions now using all these values we can easily find the total reading for that let's use this formula that is total reading is equal to PSR plus corrected HSR into LC by substituting the values we get total reading is equal to 0 plus 48 into 0 0.01 which is equal to 0 0.48 millimeter now let's enter this value in this table and let's repeat this experiment four times and add these values in the respective columns repeated analysis can reduce the error in measurement here the values of the total reading are nothing but the diameter of the wire but 
to find the volume of the wire we want the radius of the wire so we can use the equation radius r is equal to diameter divided by 2 before doing this we have to find the mean diameter by using all the values of total reading for that let's remove the wire from the screw gauge and again place the wire in between the ends a and b now let's note down the values of psr and hsr here psr is equal to 0 millimeter and by observing the value of hsr we can see that the reference line coincide with the 49th line of the head scale so hsr is equal to 49 divisions now let's enter all these values in this table that is psr is equal to 0 millimeter and hsr is equal to 49 divisions and here we know the corrected hsr is equal to observed hsr that is 49 divisions so here we got all the values to calculate the total reading that is total reading is equal to 0 plus 49 into 0 0.01 which is equal to 0 0.49 millimeter now let's repeat the same procedure let's remove this wire from the screw gauge and place it again in between the ends a and b here also we got psr is equal to 0 millimeter and hsr is equal to 49 divisions so the total reading is equal to 0 0.49 millimeter now let's repeat this experiment two more times and let's enter all our observations in this table here for both the activities we got psr is equal to 0 millimeter and hsr is equal to 48 divisions so in these two cases total reading is equal to 0 0.48 millimeter now we can find the mean value of the total reading that is mean value of the diameter so we get mean diameter of the wire d is equal to 0 0.48 plus 0 0.49 plus 0 0.49 plus 0 0.48 plus 0 0.48 divided by 5 which is equal to 0 0.484 millimeter so here the mean diameter of the wire is equal to 0 0.484 millimeter now let's convert this value into meter so we get d is equal to 0 0.484 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter but students here we want the radius of the wire so we can divide this value with 2 then we get r is equal to 0 0.484 into 10 raised to minus 3 divided by 2 which is equal to 0 0.242 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter that is the radius of the wire is equal to 0 0.242 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter so my dears here we calculated the radius of the wire now we are going to find the length of this wire here we can use a scale to measure the length of this wire and here we got the length of this wire is equal to 7 centimeter or we can say the length of this wire is equal to 7 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter. Now we got all the values to find the volume of the wire. Do you know the equation to find the volume of the wire? Yes, it is V is equal to pi r square L. Let's substitute all these values in this equation. Then we get v is equal to 3.14 into 0 0.242 into 10 raised to minus 3 whole square into 7 into 10 raised to minus 2 which is equal to 1.287 into 10 raised to minus 8 meter cube so here we got the volume of the wire is equal to 1.287 into 10 raised to minus 8 meter cube now let's move on to the second aim of this experiment what was that yes here we have to find the volume of the small sphere here we can repeat the same procedure by using a small sphere instead of the wire 
So, let's place this small sphere in between the ends A and B of this screw gauge. By observing this screw gauge, we can see that here PSR is equal to 3 millimeter and HSR is equal to 30 divisions. So, let's enter these values in this table. That is here PSR is equal to 3 millimeter and HSR is equal to 30 divisions. Here, corrected HSR is also equal to 30 divisions because zero correction of this screw gauge is equal to zero. Now, let's find the total reading. We know total reading is equal to PSR plus corrected HSR into LC. By substituting all these values in this equation, we get total reading is equal to 3 plus 30 into 0 0.01 which is equal to 3.30 millimeter. Now, let's repeat this experiment four more times. For that, we can remove the sphere from this screw gauge and let's place it again in between the ends A and B. By measuring, we can see that PSR is equal to 3 millimeter and HSR is equal to 29 divisions. By substituting these values, we can find the total reading. Then we get total reading is equal to 3 plus 29 into 0 0.01, which is equal to 3.29 millimeter. Now, let's enter this value in this table. Also, we will get these values by repeating the same procedure three more times. And we already know the total reading is equal to the diameter of the sphere. So, let's find the mean value of the diameter. That is, mean diameter of the sphere D is equal to 3.30 plus 3.29 plus 3.30 plus 3.30 plus 3.30 divided by 5, which is equal to 3.298 millimeter which is approximately equal to 3.30 millimeter. To convert this value into meter, we have to multiply it with 10 raised to minus 3. Then we get D is equal to 3.30 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter. So here we got the mean value of the diameter. But here we want the radius of the sphere to calculate the volume of the sphere. So, we can use the formula R is equal to D by 2. Then, by substituting the values, we get R is equal to 3.30 into 10 raised to minus 3 divided by 2, which is equal to 1.65 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter. So, we got the radius of the sphere is equal to 1.65 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter. Now, students, do you know the equation to find the volume of the sphere? Yes, it is V is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube. So, we will get V is equal to 4 by 3 into 3.14 into 1.65 into 10 raised to minus 3 the whole cube, which is equal to 1.88 into 10 raised to minus 8 meter cube. So, here we got the volume of the sphere is equal to 1.88 into 10 raised to minus 8 meter cube. Now, let's write our conclusion as to the result of this experiment. So, volume of the wire is equal to 1.287 into 10 raised to minus 8 meter cube. And volume of the sphere is equal to 1.88 into 10 raised to minus 8 meter cube. So, students, here we successfully completed all the aims of our experiment.